Hi, I'm Shanawaz. Uh, in last lecture, we saw that by declaring the projective algebra sets of the projective n space Pn to be in the closed sets, we get a topology on Pn, and that is called the Zarasky topology. So that is called the Zarasky topology. Uh, I mean, the Zarasky topology on Pn is a topology whose closed sets are the projective algebraic sets. Uh, now, this uh, projective space with respect to this topology is Noetherian. Uh, I mean, if we have a chain, uh, I mean, if we have a descending chain of um, closed sets, then that chain is uh, actually stationary. So we have a result here. So the project space PN uh, with respect to the Zarasky topology is actually is Noetherian. That is if we have a descending, sorry, the uh, uh, descending chain of closures, then that chain is actually a stationary chain. So let us prove this. So suppose uh, we have a chain, say Pn, which contains X1, which contains X2 and so on. So be a descending chain uh, of uh, closed subsets of Pn. And then their ideals, I mean, then the ideal of x1 is contained in the ideal of x2 so this follows by decreasing property of the ideal so this uh, becomes uh, an ascending chain in the polynomial ring so this is an ascending chain of ideals in the polynomial ring uh, in n variables over the field k. Now this uh, ring being Noetherian, we can uh, reduce that there is some positive integer say m after which this ideal, I, I mean this chain is stationary. So since uh, the polynomial ring Kx north through Xn is Noetherian. Then there exists there exists a positive integer say M such that ideal of xm is same as ideal of xm plus 1 and so on. Now by using the function z, I mean the zero source of the, in this chain, we get back this chain over here. I mean if I take the zero source of the, in this chain, we get this chain back. So but zero set of the ideal of xi is same as the set xi so this is true for all i in n so using this fact we can see over here so therefore it follows that
the set xm is same as the set xm plus one and so on so this shows that the project to space pn with respect to the zaraski topology is noetherian so hence pn is noetherian now we have a small result here a consequence of this result so it says that any subspace now by subspace we mean the topology induced here is the subspace topology any subspace subspace of pn is a noetherian topological space is a noetherian Uh, in particular, uh, every uh, algebra, I mean, every open subset X of a project to algebra I said has a decomposition into irreducible. Uh, so, in particular, every open subset. Uh, of a project to Uh, algebraic set has a decomposition into irreducible so this is the result here now we have a definition of uh, project variety and the cause you um, cause the project variety so we say a project variety a project variety is an irreducible uh, project to algebra set Uh, a quasi projective algebra exit is actually an open subset So this is actually an open subset of a projective variety. Now we want to exhibit a uh, relation between projective algebraic sets and the homogeneous idealism and the polynomial ring. For that, we introduce the projective uh, null standards. So the proof of the projective null uh, standards can be reduced to the affine case by making use of cones so basically we take a project to algebraic set so it is given by zero set of some homogeneous idea in project to space uh, so if we take the zero set of the same home uh, the same ideal in the affine n space but one dimension higher so this will turn out to be a cone so uh, and the usual null standards of these cones will be uh, equivalent to the project to null standards for the project to algebraic sets. So we'll first define what do we mean be what do we mean by a cone? So suppose we have a non empty uh, so we call a non-empty affine algebraic set, say 
x which is subset of the affine n plus one space so we call this set uh, a cone so this is called a cone if for all uh, lambda in k what is a n plus one k so as a set a n plus one is same as the k n plus one so if for all lambda in k and uh, some point p which is called say a naught through a n so this is a point in x so if for all lambda in k and for all p in uh, p in x we have lambda p which is equal to the point uh, lambda a naught up to lambda a n so if this belongs to x for all lambda in k and for all p in x then we call x uh, a cone so that is uh, x contains the line through the origin and uh, the point p so so that is this x contains the line through the origin and p now if so for if we take x to be a subset of the projective n space um, so so if this x is a projective algebraic set Uh, then the affine cone uh, over x so then the affine cone over x is in the set cx which is defined as the set of all point is in the affine n plus one space such that the uh, equivalence class of this point which is a line through origin so if this belongs to um, the set x and since uh, in p and v does not include origin so if we include the zero i mean the origin then we call this set to be a cone over x where x is given to be a projective algebraic set so what this means uh, actually so if suppose we have these points which are in x then uh, suppose this is the origin o then so this, this is a point p which belongs to uh, the set x so that means by definition of cone it contains all the points through the origin because if this is a point p then this point is lambda p for some lambda in k similarly uh, uh, through this point we have this line and through this point we have this line so it actually looks like a cone So basically, uh, the claim is that the cone of x is the zero set of the ideal ix. So we have a lemma here. So one can note that this is obviously a cone. So note that Cx is a cone. So one can note over here this point over here this is a line 
because this is an uh, uh, so this is a line and by taking it is union with the origin we get the definition of the cone so the cx is a cone so now one can have um, the following uh, lemma from this definition which is um, the obvious one so we have a lemma so let us suppose x be a non empty set to be a projective algebraic set that is uh, this x is some zero set of some homogeneous ideal So for some homogeneous ideal i and then we have uh, the ideal of the cone over x is same as the homogeneous ideal of x and uh, the cone of x the cone over x is same as the zero set of i mean the fi algebraic set of the ideal i which is the zero set of vanishing set of the ideal i so this is this follows trivially from uh, the properties of zariski topology and the uh, properties of the functions i and z so actually this lemma says that there is uh, a one to one uh, i mean i mean between uh, if we have a uh, uh, algebraic set and an affine cone so let us write this down over here so this means actually so so in other words there is a one to one correspondence between uh, non empty projective algebra sets and the affine cones by taking the zero locus of by taking the zero locus of i mean by taking the zero locus in the project to n space and the affine n plus one space of the same homogeneous ideal. That means if we have an affine cone, uh, say Cx and the project to algebra x set x then the zero set of cx uh, and the zero set of x so between these two items we have one to one correspondence so now using this uh, we will prove the project to uh, uh, version of Null stellen So, so using these uh, affine cones, we can take zero sets of the same ideal in affine n space, uh, but one dimensional bigger. 
so in next lecture we'll prove the i mean we'll straight and prove the project to null string search